So, so what are the what are the grievances of of, of these bandits? So I know people would ask. They are saying stop killing their people by vigilantes and security agents. Authorities turn their blind eye when theirs are killed. They have been profiled. Government is not keeping its part of negotiating they do with them. This is from them. They are not allowed to go into towns and villages and their access to markets to sell their cattle and milk is, is, is restricted. Repentant bandits, they say, are left with nothing to do in towns. And a lot of innocent, innocent Fulani youths languish in jail. Some repentant bandits are arrested and killed by security agents. Well, the way forward. The way forward, short term, I say forces. First of all, communication. We must open the channel of communication. We do not know who we are fighting. They do not know us. That's the first. Thing. Second C is confidence building. There's so much mistrust amongst all parties. And the Sheikh was there trying to build trust. They just yes, trust the government, trust me. I will be the person in the middle between all parties. And there has to be a ceasefire, mutually agreed ceasefire by all sides. And then cessation of hostility. So communication, confidence building, ceasefire, cessation of hostilities. It's not short term. Medium term, there has to be reconciliation, genuine reconciliation and forgiveness nationwide between all communities, all communities. We have to find a way to pay reparation to all parties, all agreed parties. And there has to be rehabilitation of communities and, and victim. And then disarmament by both bandits and vigilantes. Long term, long term, there has to be an opportunity to reinvent the issue of of of, uh, of cultural roots nationwide. Your base state has been doing that now. They are reclaiming cultural roots because what happened? There were cattle roots that are not taken over by people. So when Fulanis come with their cattle, they eat from the farms, and then there's there's problem. There has to be comprehensive survey of all all cattle roots in northern Nigeria. And we must create new routes where it is no longer possible to recreate the old ones. Uh, this north-south migration may have to be reconsidered. There may need to be a northeast migration route to reduce conflict in, in all the places. Uh, we have to establish a way for this Fulanis to be getting to be getting good value for their money. Practical steps. And nobody is denying this, these bandits are bandits. They are criminals. They have caused and are still causing a lot of damage to our people. But unless we sit down and find a way forward, there's just no way we can continue this bloodshed because we do not have enough army, we do not have enough policemen, and people are continuing to be killed. The nation is awash with, with conflicts all over the country. So there is a repentant bandit I met in Gusau that gave me the practical. I say, today, if you're the president of Nigeria, give me practical ways to stop this banditry. Number one, he said, revoke all allocation of government land on cattle rules from 1999. Because this thing started from 1999. They said, we need, they, they need to have equity and justice from the police courts and traditional rulers locally. They need to have freedom of movement and enter or settle anywhere in the country like every other citizen. There has to be provision of other amenities like mobile clinics, schools, and boreholes. And he suggested that all Fulani should be, all Fulani cattle herders should be registered. And he demand for, and he's saying there should be demand for all the cattle rustle between them because they kill themselves, they rustle cattle. And he says for a period of time, Close all cattle markets so that you can identify real, real cattle that are not stolen and register all cattle who are had. He said, come, I say, okay, how do you compensate for learners that have lost cattle? He says, it's simple. If I've lost five, the government can give me three. But then finally he says that we need to create community, uh, community committees that will, that will liaise with authorities. Essentially, Banditry is a social problem that we need to listen and understand 
and find a way out. It's not a military problem. There is a role for the military, but there is no military solution. Uh,